Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason and this is my new C10 pickup. We're going to give it a bath and get rid of all the grime on it. So stay tuned. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and clean all this black stuff off and it shouldn't be too hard. It's just tree junk uh, and bring back more of the original shine or the original color in this paint. So we're going to do one little spot and show you what it's going to look like when we're done. And then we're just going to go at it and clean the entire truck. So I've got my sponge here. We've got it wet. We just sprayed this down with something like an everything cleaner. It's just a soap you can use on literally everything. And Robbie, in case you haven't noticed already, I am sporting UBT. So we sprayed this down and all we're going to do is take our sponge to it and that stuff just comes off like butter. All right, so let's hose it down and we'll show you the difference between the two sides that we did here. Wow, that's quite a difference. Yeah, it is. This is what happens, folks, when you leave your vehicle out under a tree somewhere. It just collects all this black crap, makes it worth, or look like it's worth, a whole lot less. I could see through that the moment I walked up to the truck and give it a rub. So now what we're going to do is Junior and I are going to go over the whole truck, scrub the whole thing down, the roof, the sides, everything, and then we'll have ourselves a clean truck. So we'll do that to some music. Now that is one clean truck. We'll still have to go over it. I noticed that a bunch of these uh, pine needles and stuff was still being held in behind the moldings. So we'll have to go over it again at some point, maybe take those moldings off and see if we can't clean up what's there. But now we've got to talk about the direction of the truck and where you guys would like to see this thing going. Cause I know where I want it to be. I'd like to see this thing sitting three inches lower in the front, five in the back on a flip kit. I'd also like to see big 18 inch rally style wheels from Detroit Wheel. Eventually I'd like to put it on airbags. Um, and definitely we will be going through the uh, engine and trans at some point. Right now, we're probably gonna leave it as is. Um, we may even rebuild what we've got uh, because you can get some stout power out of those old 350s. And same thing with that transmission. We're gonna find out what the, the rear end gear ratio is probably take the back cover off and uh, change the fluid anyway, just to see what we've got in there. See if it's got a uh, posi or if it's just a one wheeler. Anyways, let me know guys down in the comment section what you think we should be doing with this truck. I know you guys have got some great ideas. Uh, there's lots of stuff out there. And you know, the most popular thing for people to be doing with these trucks is to LS swap them. I don't think for now, I don't think we're gonna go that direction, although, you never know what the future brings. The right engine comes up, we just might do something. But that is territory that I've never ventured into is uh, you know LS swapping, but I'm always you know eager to learn something new. For now, I think we're gonna stick with the 350 engine and the 350 trans. Uh, we'll probably beef those up a little bit. And at the very least, if we end up doing a swap, then we can uh, get some money out of those to help cover the costs of the LS swap. But anyways, as it sits, I'm pretty happy with uh, the way it turned out. We got all that tree gunk off there and it really does look like a whole nother truck once again. So as far as the rockers and cab corners, those are gonna be one of the most immediate things that we'll work on probably over the winter. The brake booster is bad. At least I believe that's what the problem is. Foot goes right to the floor. Don't see any fluid leaking out from any of these cylinders or calipers, but we're gonna dive into that hopefully sometime this week and see what we can find out uh, is there. I know that you guys have been following me on Instagram trying to guess what this project was uh, and so I want to thank you guys. Some of you even guessed what it was and I did not acknowledge uh, you either way. Uh, I didn't want to give it away and in fact at one point 
uh, I'll follow by the name of Trucker Dave or Main Trucker on Instagram. Uh, posted that he had people on the lookout in Maine for me because he's a truck driver and he knows a lot of people. I made the mistake of saying in the chat or in the comments on Instagram that it'd be pretty hard to mistake those two trucks. Uh, I was at the time trying to keep it quiet and he instantly insta uh, DM'd me and said, uh, you probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> so I went back, deleted it. I wonder if you guys caught that. But anyways, uh, I did change that post. Uh, anyway, it, yeah, so you guys are pretty smart. You knew exactly what I thought uh, or what I was looking for. You knew that I love square bodies. I finally found something. I originally was looking for a 75 because that's the year I was born. Found the 77, couldn't pass it up. It had the character and the look I was going for. Somebody has already lowered it a little bit. They didn't do it right, I don't believe. Not the previous owner, I don't think. Uh, but at the end of the day, we are going to put a kit on the front and in the back uh, to do it right. That will be something that we'll work on. Of course, we're gonna have videos all over the place on this. So at some point, we are gonna have to come up with a name for the C10, something that's gonna be good, something that sticks with the truck. The fact that it's a Scottsdale, we can play on that name. The fact that it came from New York. Uh, originally, it came from uh, New Mexico. Uh, the fellow that I bought it from, his last name was Wright. Uh, and he's a new subscriber, so thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate that. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. We'll, we'll come up with some ideas. We'll do a poll again, and we'll come up with the name. Uh, Junior just suggested a few minutes ago, Dirty Dale. And I said, Dirty Dale? Why Dale? Well, because it's a Scottsdale, stupid. What's that? Let's call it Dale. Project Dale. Or he says, just call it Dale. Anyways, leave your comments down below. We'll talk about that in a future video. Guys, I'm glad you stuck through, uh, you know, the whole teasing and, and all that. I know this is the second video in this series, but there's going to be many more to come. And uh, I'm going to be reaching out to you guys for some inspiration. I've got ideas. I know what I want to do. Uh, I'll need some confirmation from you folks to make sure I'm on the right path. So as it sits right now, first things first, we've got to get that brake uh, system looked at. That's the only thing keeping me from taking this out on the road and driving it is the uh, is the likely the master cylinder. I think it's going to be a good truck. We'll get it up on the hoist. We'll show you guys everything uh, in a future video. But I appreciate you sticking with me. So this is going to end this one for now. And we will be back very shortly with another one. And I hope you guys are there. Spread the word. This is the direction that the truck, that the channel is going in for now. We will still be doing videos on our other projects like the Volkswagen. Uh, Project Grandma, the Cordoba, uh, but this will be the focus for a little while, at least till we get it to a point where uh, we're doing some major uh, repairs or major work on it. Anyways, having said all that, guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you all. God bless. We'll see you again in the next Chevy truck video.